No. No, I would not. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I mean, I did read about it. I think I would have. I may have known about the NEP, but probably not in depth. Um, I think it's very unlikely. It's a clear book. policy is more of a guideline for future legislations towards improving schools. I can see that they are trying to make a change which is good. And it's now open for uh, the general public to give their views. The whole approach behind uh, NEP or any such law is flawed because the government, because the Indian economy is now so that the government can no longer impose regulations on uh, people and uh, expect them to be followed. I found no, no major changes. It is pretty ironical to call it the new education policy. It has uh, proposed a kind of flexibility toward both system, which is really nice because most people get pressurized when they know that they just have a limited time. It's also very top-down, as most policies tend to be in India for some reason. Uh, there are still a lot of loopholes and drawbacks to the new education policy. There are various aspects that have not been addressed in detail. I'm not very convinced about how, uh, you know, what, like, whether there's any, been any innovation from the previous two policies that we've already had. It's sort of vague, it's not exactly specifying uh, what needs to be done. Enforcing a lot of regulations on private schools that are already existing in India would hinder their effectiveness in terms of the quality of education they offer. coming up a lot these days but still there's no concrete plan on it is vocational education and I feel like it's really important for a country like India where an education continues to be limited to the idea of say engineering or doctor or you know what about a carpenter being an educated carpenter. A greater autonomy must be in order. The new education policy rather than just encouraging uh, public schools or government schools to grow it should also invite the private sector to play a very inclusive role in education. It should be more detailed. Decentralization of power from the center to the school level. It doesn't actually recognize, it doesn't give importance to the private sector so much. So they should now focus on implementation rather than repeating what they have. The linking of uh, skill, skill based education with primary education. They talk about how they want to depoliticize all kinds of universities. I think that is something I am very vehemently against because uh, considering how for centuries student, uh, students, student movements have always originated in universities and they have gone on to become national and international level movements. They should detail how they would stop um, kids from dropping out of school. I believe it's a very good initiative because it would it will take into account what uh, people across India think about NEP. The NEP wiki is a good medium for people like us to to raise our opinion and to and to influence the policy. Probably, um, I think a lot of people would be sending sending their suggestions, but um, we aren't really sure if the government would take them into consideration. It's it's one way to uh, recommend in an isolated platform, right? But it's another way when it's so dynamic that you could look what other people are saying and then probably even think again about what you initially thought of the policy. The wiki platform actually allows people to make changes whatever they think a change is required, and that way. A lot of different people's views get accumulated at one place and by the end of it you will have a newer, better, perhaps better policy in place. Uh, you could counter question them, so I think it, it, it promotes easy dialogue. The idea that anyone can raise whatever concern they have without having to think about whether it's a valid concern or not, whether they should be bothering someone with their questions or not, so I think that's really allowing that kind of freedom of thought and freedom of expression is really appreciable.